This video will show you how to do multiple comparisons in R. The data I'm working with are different iron levels collected at different water depths in Chesapeake Bay. What I'm going to do is read in the data here, then turn the data into a factor variable, and then I'll run my analysis of variance. So you likely saw this in a previous video. My next step is that I want to find out which treatments are different from one another. If I look at my ANOVA table, I found that there was a significant effect. That is, at least one of those treatments is different from uh, the others. But it doesn't tell me which specific treatments are different. And so that's where multiple comparison procedures come in. We're going to use the pairwise.t.test function to find out which treatments, or in our case, which water depths, lead to different levels of iron content. And so what I'm going to do here is um, use the pairwise.t.test function. Now my data set name is called iron underscore CB for the Chesapeake Bay levels. Um, so I'll do iron underscore CB dollar sign iron is my response variable. And then iron underscore CB depth dot factor is my treatment. That is, what is the water level where those iron measurements were taken from? So we do the um, response variable, comma, independent variable, comma, how do you want to adjust the p-values, or p.adj? And there are lots of different methods to do that, but we're going to use what we call the Bonferroni method. So this is a method that's more or less uh, pretty conservative uh, when it comes to uh, rejecting uh, treatment differences. So let's run this line of code and take a look at the output. So we're looking here, we're looking at the pairwise comparisons using t-tests with a pooled standard deviation. And so that means it's going to kind of take all of the variability of the samples together uh, and pool uh, the estimation of the variability. What you're seeing now along the, uh, we were getting kind of a matrix of p-values. So each of these values in this matrix is a p-value. What you're seeing along the leftmost column is the water depth. So we sampled all the way from 0 down to uh, 100 feet. And you're seeing that same thing along the x-axis, or along as different columns. So what we can see here is that um, while there's essentially a p-value of 1, or no significant difference between a water depth of 0 and 10. Similarly, for 0 and 30, the p-value is very large, indicating that there's no significant difference. But what about where there is a significant difference? Take a look at the row for 100 feet. So this is where we collected the iron levels at 100 feet below the water. What you're seeing for each of these comparisons between 100 feet and 0 feet, between 100 feet and 10 feet, and so forth, is a significant difference between those two treatments, or those two levels in the lake. And so what we can say is that what we know from our analysis of variance is that at least one of those treatment means is different. Now with multiple comparisons, we can find out what is the um, actual, which of those specific treatments are different from one another. And we can use the p-value to uh, indicate those differences. And that's how we look at multiple comparison procedures in R.